Hi, it's Jess here from nigeza.co.uk. Thank you for turning to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Um, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. And I am bringing you a card I made for the Inspiring Blog Hop. And it was a colour challenge this month. Um, and the colours were Soft Succulent, Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee. So in colours, the latest in colour, last year's in colours. Um, so, so yeah. I have decided to make a card using Dragonfly Garden. I love this. I just love that design. Um, when I saw that, I, I thought of my junk journals because as well as doing my stamping up um, videos, I do junk journaling as well. And that is just beautiful on a card or stamped on a page. Um, so, so yeah, I love this set. So I'm going to, I've got a thick basic white card base there and I'm going to do some stamping on it and I'm going to do some watercolour in so uh, I'm going to use stays on because stays on is a permanent ink and um, that's what you that's what you need if you're going to watercolour if we used memento which is the other black ink that we um, sell um, it's uh, it's water-based so if you watercolour with that it will just end up as a black splodgy moss um, so, uh, so yeah, stays on is what you want to use. So giving that a good ink up, love the smell of stays on. It's like an almondy smell. And I'm going to line that up to my grid mat so that it's straight. And I'm just going to stamp that down there. I always press all the way around the stamp and uh, leave it for a bit. A little bit longer than I would our ordinary um, inks because I want to make sure I get a good image and I have got a good image I'm liking that I am going to stamp the dragonfly as well we have a, a punch that punches out um, of the dragonfly so So, punching him, punching him, stamping him. And I'm just going to get a bit of scrap cardstock, although this has got a little bit dirty. Um, the punch punches out um, a little dragonfly as well. So it punches out this big one and it punches out a little one and... I am just going to stamp this two more times because I want two little dragonflies on the card. And we don't have a stamp for the little one, but if we stamp it again, we can just punch out from there. And that does give us a little, a little um, dragonfly that looks okay. My friend Heather um who's an absolute genius <laughs> she uh she discovered that so i was very happy right so i'm gonna do a bit of water coloring now with these three inks so i'm gonna get myself some ink on our little a blocks because that's the easiest way i find to create myself a little paint palette. Like so. And then I'm gonna get water painter. We sell these in packs of three and they've got different um, nib ends. So that's a thick nib end. Brush end, it's not even nib. Then we've got the the wide the wide one for a wash. I'm not doing a wash today. And then we've got a little thin one um, as well, which I actually think I might need a bit of a thin one today. So I'm I might use that. Needs a bit of water in it. So these are brilliant. You just unscrew 
and you put a bit of water in this barrel, which I shall just do now. So that's got some water in it, and we just screw it, screw it back in place, going in the right way. And, um, and then you've got, it says push there, so you just push that to get water in the end of your brush. And that's, that's how we get that ready to colour. So I want little, little yellow um, centres for my flower. And it's watercolour, so I'm not bothered if it goes over at all. Um, I'm going to put some yellow on these little bits as well. I love watercolouring because it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines. And it still looks, still looks good. How many people remember the flake advert from the 70s? That was when I first sort of looked at watercolour and thought, oh, that's really good. You can quite do anything. Because she was painting and then the rain came down and uh, made all her paint run. But it still looked good. So there we go. So and then you can just run that over the paper a bit of times and that's 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 it gone. You can also just sort of give it a squeeze. And there we go, brush is clean. So this one has managed to get a bit stained, but it's but the colour's not come off. So I want green leaves, so I can use the bigger one for the leaves because they are a bigger surface. So find it quite relaxing doing watercolour like this. And I do like watercolour and sort of like line drawing, which is what this looks like. Love it. So there we go. I'll do a little bit at these stems as well. There we go, so that's that. Give that a little squeeze to my little dried out baby wipe here. Squeeze it down. Comes out the nib, there we go. And then I'm gonna do the flowers that are left in blue or oh, misty moonlight. And that's me three colours for the colour challenge used. And I thought they were good colours for a dragonfly as well, which was my first thought, which is why I chose this. I'm leaving these like giant daisies with, um, with white petals. Okay, so again, I'm going to give this a squeeze so I can get... water out. Sometimes I just undo that slight bit. There. So it is now nice and clean with no. So I'm going to leave that to dry and colour my, my dragonflies. So I'm going to use all three colours in my dragonfly. I decided to go down the body with Bumblebee. And I'm going to do the same on the little ones. Well, not little, but you know, partially stamped ones. Bit of Bumblebee down there. Going to do a bit of Bumblebee.
from the wings. Give that clean. And then we're going to have a bit of Misty Moonlight. When the colour gets too light, I just add a bit more. And now I'm going to do soft succulent. Third colour here, and then we'll do some bit of mixing. So you get a different different result every time doing doing this. And the colours do mix together quite nicely. Some more water down. There we go. And then what you can do is add a bit of wing Costello if you want a bit of a bit of sparkle. And as dragonfly wings are a bit sort of iridescent, I think it's a nice little touch. And we just want to leave that to dry a little bit before I punch it because it does make, as you can see there on the back of the cardstock, it does make it a bit wet. So I'll just clean this up. So I've got the thank you for your kindness um, stamp. I like the thank you. I don't want for your kindness. So I'm going to mask it off. So... To do that, you need a bit of washi tape, which I've managed to drop on the floor. So, and you stick that over the words that you don't want without covering any of the words. You do want, and then you get your ink, and you ink up like so, and then you rip off your masking tape, and it's ready to use. Just says getting rid of the masking tape that was persistently stuck to my finger. So 
I'm just going to do that and put it there. There we are, a little bit, a little bit has come around there. Not too bothered. I've got an ink rubber here, which does does remove bits of ink. Do a bit more of that later. So that's that. So now we want our dragonflies. So bring in my dragonfly punch. Punch that big one. I'll get a bonus little one in white. Which we don't need. And then I'm going to line up the little punch like so, and that will give me a little bit, little little dragonfly that's that's been stamped. And then do the same with that one. So that is so cool. I am so grateful. When I, when Heather did that, I was just like, genius. Love it. So now what we need to do is give our dragonflies a little bit of life by curling the wings a bit. This still feels slightly wet. Yeah, you can see on the back where it's wet. Do the same with the little ones. And then I'm going to get a bit of Tombow. And I'm going to put some Tombow down the tail. That's the body in it. There we go. I'm going to have him fly in there. And then I've got me little ones. One up there. And then my other one. Yep, I think we'll have him there. like so and then i've seen other people do this i've never tried it but i'm going to try it now get in some wink stella splashes i'm running out of wink stella and i've got another one so i'm just squeezing that a bit and then you get little splashes does work. Bad job, it works. Maybe have more splashes on my stamp mat than on that, but you've got little bits of Wink Stella on there. I don't know if you can see them. There's some around there. So that's quite cool. I think I might need a bit more up there. Yeah. There we go. And that's that's my card. That's the colour challenge, and that's what I've done. Hope you like that. I will link to everything that I've used in the video down below, which will take you to my shop if you wish to purchase anything. I'll link to the blog post so you can see some close-up pictures. And in the blog post as well, I will link to the original blog hop as well, so you can see what everybody else has done with these colours. 
Okay, see you all again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a catalogue, I have a request form on my blog and I'll be happy to send you one. Okay, bye for now.